Good morning, this is Kara Coffey, the Ministry of Encounter No More. This is a video. That is an indoctrination reversal. perspective and how I'm gonna do that is actually a little strange because it's on a certain blog new blog specifically for the writings of Elizabeth and Robert Barrett Browning I had to mourn The removal of one of my books, it went, it had to go in the trash. That's mine. In other words, I did the artwork and everything. And that was probably my birthday month of April. But then I joyfully found four. art pieces from the letters of Elizabeth and Robert Barrett Browning that I had done in another book. That is my actual, and I do release information, I release blog articles from this book, but it's my personal journal. It's blue, it's a pretty bright blue, and celebrating my liberal approach to life and now, and I use animal wisdom cards with that book. My miracle ball therapy involvement is also in that book. Um, Elaine Petrone is the moon goddess as I am. It's very easy to see. It's very clear and easy to see. And I have now added to that genre of work in my life, as it were, the evolution process in that room of my existence, my soul's existence. I have added some work from the Buddha. So more and more I'm being led to kiss my Christian indoctrination experience of now 50 years in June of this year. My fifth child was born in June, as was my father-in-law. Um, I kiss, the, kiss it goodbye gently. I have been determined and I am thankful for my election here because I'm also reading the book of Enoch, which should be in the Bible. And uh, it's very clear about the elect. And I, I will be releasing that on another blog, that information, that artwork, and from a beautiful book I have. But my joy in this particular video is came from actually remembering myself that I had put some of the work of the beautiful letters between Robert and Elizabeth Barrett Browning uh, in, four, four of them, and leading me, as it were, as a sorceress, into what to use the animal wisdom cards for. Uh, the Buddha's words will be uh, using the animal wisdom cards. That particular little just for the fun of it, this is how my life goes that's on the fun side. That particular little rolling case, I found at Goodwill. It has dinosaurs all over it, and it's for a, a little boy. <laughs> and I picked it up, and this year I used it for Christmas decorations. Well, I took out the de Christmas decorations and put them in something else. And 
resurrected it because there was this beautiful child in his mother at one of my coffee shops and he had the exact same newer as it were had the exact same little bag and he was a homeschooler like my children and then I could tell and he was just sitting up there as his mother was studying and doing his work as well it was just a I wish that narrative could have happened more with my children. Um, the Robinson curriculum was one that I used, and he was a great proponent of the, his children reading a lot, just reading uh, for their English. In other words, not a lot of teaching all the way through high school. And uh, Saxon math that they had to teach themselves. They had to work through it themselves. And he had a schedule, but he was adamant that his work should be done in the same place. They would self-study together. And I tried to do that, but there was a lot going on in my life. And And I will say this from the difficulty of my past when it comes to children. I am a person who understands the beauty and the peacemaking of the gaming community. I, I am continually amazed at their creation ability. I, I can't say enough about it. And I was wrong to put pressure on my family to like bring all of all of that into a wide open area. But I say that as a woman who could trust my children and some children, and, and not all of them, some of them, and we helped each other not go into the dark side of the internet. I, I st took too much time on, on blogs. Men, Mothers of Many Young Siblings was the blog that I had to be chastised, as it were, with, because I was, I was a pagan in the middle of a Christian cult and needing to stay respectful to all the people as I evolved. And I've been attacked because of my evolution. And it's, it's, it's uh, almost complete that I'm not in that anymore. And I'm going to do what I've been doing occasionally and say, all glory to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But he's not that. He's just, I'm, oh God. I do apologize to him. He's just a man at this point. He's just as human as anybody else, including my brother, who is on the earth. And that's about all I'm going to say about that anymore because we are moving on. We are obvious. You can find us. And I just wrote a blog article on one of my blogs. Because you know the what's-his-name shaman from the January 6th devil call? that wore the Rams hat, and they're trying to look pagan, but they're just very misguided, and he got out of jail, and he released a video, and it's like, oh, this is <laughs> not just stupid. This is obviously insane rhetoric. These people want to murder us, control us, then just murder us. Okay. They do not believe in universal education. They do not believe in universal health care. They do not believe in anything but self-interest of the billionaire millionaire class. And I just posted a blog article on uncoverednomore.blog. Go read Bernie Sanders' Our Revolution. A lot of them are an anti-Semites, just like their forebearers. And Bernie Sanders was prevented twice from becoming the president because of hashtag Kara's hashtag fascist America. No capitals. I give you nothing but disdain. You cover a large group of people, not always Christian, not always religious. You're obvious. You hate us. You require hate as your basic paradigm emotion. 
And we are getting up and we are moving on and we are the creators, the rest of us. Come with us, good person. It won't be easy. The unindoctrinating of you will not be easy. I say that after 50 years of a 57 year long. You will have to mourn. You will get angry. You will have to hate. And then you will come out on the other side and say, love is love. I can't understand all these details. And, and, and that's the biggest thing that happened to me is that people were pelting me with details to prove me wrong in my evolution. Particularly since 2012. People must feel in control. A lot of them are white people or black people that are caving into the white narrative of the grand old party. Bottom line. They were forced into that for years. In their particular place, the black people may be forced into it. I'm not, I'm not making any judgment calls. I'm just telling you what happened. You go read the real history and you can see that. Now I want to talk for just a minute about baby boomers. Because I made a statement to someone very close to me who's older than me. And that is all I'm going to say. I explained to that person, and I've said this in any number of ways since 2012. I explained to that person, I will not, as Tara, I will not allow you to give up on yourself, basically, is what I was saying, because I, I do not understand this, what I'm about to say. I do not. What I can do is show you by not hitting delete, not correcting something that I said, typed on a blog, the poetry blog that this strange video is going on. I said, you are coming up on the most painful time of your life inside your love self, your own self. And basically what that means is you are being required, forced, if I have to, as Tara, because I don't want this person to live in bitterness of what the Grand Old Party is doing, what the Christian church is doing. It's all a cesspool of the wrong way of the broad path if I'm talking about the Bible, which I'm the one coloring it, just the words of Jesus, so that I can understand him actually, what he said back there. <laughs> okay, that's how indoctrinated I became. But it wasn't become, when you were trained since the age of seven, you are that person and you have to create yourself and not kick out the baby with the bathwater, so to speak. There are good, the people who are coming out of the Christian indoctrination machine need to understand there are good tenets of that. And yes, you can learn, you can evolve and keep the balancing force of love is love in your core. I have recommended runestones. Now I'm going to recommend the Buddhist perspective over the Christian perspective. You're going to see me do it on blogs, and that's my point. I said in, okay, so let me finish with the baby boomer. I said, I will not let you do this. I am doing it. I want you to understand how painful it is. And what it is is, you try to keep going back and reconciling your past so that you don't feel the tremendous loss that I just went through. It's a chasm of suffering that is very real and um, people will generally not understand you. They, they generally will call this a midlife crisis. That's bullshit. This isn't just a midlife crisis. You can go through this at the age of 20 as much as you can go through this at the age of 57. I don't know what to call it, but you will have to look everything that your society has pushed upon you as ideals to live for. You're going to have to look it in the eye, that beast, and say, fuck yourself. 
I'm going to create. I'm going to take as many people with me. I'm going to still be a part of the system. And fuck you. And your forceful mechanisms. And it's going to hurt. y'all. It's going to be pattern changes every day. For a while, you're going to watch TV a lot. And just check out. Go for it. Loves, go for it. And then you're going to decide where your spirituality lands. I've got rude tones. I've got tarot. Very powerful tarot. I've already witnessed through the work of my therapist with me. So I'm not just out here spouting shit without authority in my life. Even some I've paid for to have a third party to keep some of this pain of my metamorphosis off my family. Okay? Um, recommended this book, my therapist did, last year. I've already released um, the, the artwork that I have in it in a particular book that is particularly someone's who has gone through the same metamorphosis as I have, but it's a visible change. Mine is a soul change. The visible change will come later. I already know that. When I come back, I'm not going to look like me. <laughs> it's not any of your business. Any of you that fought me and fought it. Hell, just to be correct as Christians. Y'all are still out there. You're still pulling bullshit. And that's where it's hard for those of us that understand these concepts because those people do not come back in the details of a quiet life and apologize. They do not own shit. But that's just a common human trait not to own shit. Every toddler doesn't own shit. Get a grip. Such as is common to humankind, as the good book says. I think that's more in the New Testament, that whole idea. So that this is something. I You will rip your own heart out as a girl. I seriously doubt this is any different in the, in the boy, B-O-I group. Heart of Stone by Foreigner talks about a woman... She turns her heart to stone. I've done it. Still have to do it sometimes. Where I just go to a place of, you will not feel this, Kara, even though it's like my heart is burning up or freezing on the inside and I feel metaphysical pain. It is so easy to stab me in the back. Close up. You are mildly sadistic to use that on someone like me. I just read a tweet thread where talking about issues and a man goes in and comments and says, I am bipolar. I can't work full time. I'm talking on about those dear people who are just as intelligent as everybody else. Do you know what I'm having to do? I'm having to give up the fucking notion that I kept saying I'll just go work to a sewage, the absolute vitriol coming out of some of the people around me about money and the spending of it. I was being blamed left and right for stuff. When I'm the exorcist and I was doing love is love work and it's now all coming back but everybody's got this high-level expectation on themselves and everybody else about finances in this country. And then you've got these billions of people like myself who gave up career or couldn't even handle it like the gentleman under, and, you know, in the comments. Okay, I'm going to tell you about something I actually led my therapist into talking about so that I could get confirmation or not. If, I, if he wasn't able to confirm it, I was going to have to change my ideology. I looked at him and I said, just because, because I've got some children in the math department who, they're like Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa was, was, was 
thrown out of high school at times, had a band that almost got into murderous street fighting because his band was full of all different skin colors and a girl who was a main player. <gasps> Groundbreaking. Um, I have students who can't and you will be damn sure of one thing in the coming years of a life of Kara Coffey, of the Ministry of Uncovered No More. The one fucking thing you don't do is drug children to sit in chairs to do workbook pages. You're guilty as hell of dumbing down the population in their mentality. And you know it. Public and private. Private is worse at this than public school systems. Private Christian schools are hell. And I've been through that shit. So don't argue. Deal with it. It's my suggestion, but I don't give a fuck anymore because I'm on the other side encouraging your children, even the 57-year-old ones in my ministry. So done. Gavel drop on that shit. Um... So here I am, Lord, send me in the Christian way of saying and singing things. That's in the Old Testament. Okay. Um, so on my blog, the it's, it's the one with Elizabeth and Robert Barrett Browning. Their own blog. They are so gorgeous. Okay. Um, I made a statement about a sonnet I'm taking in. Sonnets from the Portuguese by Elizabeth Barrett. She wasn't browning just yet. I read the introduction to this book that I bought, The Collected Poems of Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Uh, this particular one, uh, beautiful lady, gave, gives us excellent history on, on this feminist that is, is very powerful still. She's very powerful. Um, and and she, she uh, introduction and notes by Sally Minogue, M-I-N-O-G-U-E. And she said, for my husband, Anthony John Ransom, with love from your wife, the publisher, eternally grateful for your unconditional love. See? And I said, okay, so, you know, this is my Christian existence. This has done this to me for a billion years. <laughs> God. Uh, I said, okay, I'll do four. Well, let me back up. So the introduction, I had to stop at a certain point. So I will have to go back and keep reading the introduction after I do sonnets from the Portuguese artwork for myself and Evolution of Judah. I tried Judah because I'm a let Judah. I um, had to stop. Do this poem. I couldn't take anything more in. And I'm going to tell you that I'm proud of myself for evolving to this point. But in the blog, I said I will do four verses. And there's 44 verses in this. Ten lines. No, 14 lines. In. But looky here. <laughs> I sat somewhere, and for the first um, 14 verses, I drew a rune for each one, and blew me away. I've already written small poems alongside this. It's in the book. I'm so excited about that um, because my poetic side is actually taking a little a little vacation. You know? 
I'll take this for the rest of my life kind of vacation. And um, so, see, here's the, so I just, you know, I'll say this, y'all. When you're in the creation of freedom, I'm showing all of us, despite all of our mistakes from the past, you're just learning something new every day that you already knew you were going to do. That's how spiritually beautiful we are. You know. Okay. Uh, so I came to the 14th and it was like, mm, this is a set of the 44. So I broke all my rules that I set on myself as I began to read it because I was feeling overwhelmed because it's 44 verses. I'm dealing with um, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow downstairs at my dad's desk. And there's several parts. I was sticking to just the short poems, y'all. <laughs> so, my evolution is moving forward, and I can't even read Robert Browning's poetry right now. Oh, my gosh. It's just page after page of just constantly downloading information, and it's just like, dude, I'll try another one of your poems maybe in the summer, and it's just going to be like, that's the only thing I'm going to be able to do for a minute when I do one of his poems, because, ah, his form was intense. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> I was so thunderstruck. I already released a YouTube on the 14th video, so... This one is going to go before the other one, and I'm going to do all 14 before I publish that huge article because that's where my metaphysical intellect said, you see a break here so that your system, your system, my system, my body, my soul, my spirit, my metaphysical, my physical being, my two-part system, of me can handle, that, that this is what you can handle. I'm stuck with Rudolf Steiner's book. I'm stuck in chapter six because my brain is transferring it. And if you'll notice, I've already admitted I had to bring in some a Buddhist book, Buddhist perspective from my therapist. Again, I got a brand new paperback book. It will be ordered in. I'm going to, I'm not gonna use Rune. I'm going to use a very, very powerful set of tarot. And that, that set's so powerful, it scares me on a regular basis. But that's good for me. That's good for me. It's just like the Raven, the Crow set that I got from the book. Uh, there's a certain high-level magic shop that's just gorgeous. And so I've gotten uh, two sets of tarot, one set of runes, or two sets of runes now, because I have to assimilate everything with its with its own literature and stuff. I I, I have no other way to continue to evolve, and I don't know why. But anyway, um, <laughs> the, uh, the 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 crow right the crow tarot or gorgeous. I already have the ability to write fatal. It just comes out of my pores sometimes, just like poetry, but my poetry is all short, and I seriously doubt I will navigate to where Elizabeth Barrett Browning is, but she was poet full-time. I'm only po a poet part-time, um, and fatal is my actual High level ability. It's not like I'm not the woman of tragedy election who wrote across the last set of four the four blood moons that are very enmeshed in Jewish history. Yeah, and nobody wants to touch that alle that allegory, that fatal with a ten foot pole. But I can guarantee you that there's somebody around me that knows exactly what's in that. What's in that? Uh, initiative and knows how to handle it. If I call it a prayer initiative, it's not. <laughs> it's like Lord of the Rings. 
sorry, or it's actually like the Silmarillion, but it's condensed, thank God. <laughs> S, thank God, S, it's condensed. <laughs> I just saw a GIF somebody released. I knew exactly where that GIF was from in my work, and it's not the only work that the GIF was produced from. I am certain because I'm dealing with highly intelligent individuals just like they're dealing with me on Twitter. And as a matter of fact, I've been led to take all of my blog work, the automatic transfer of it to Twitter, just take it off. I'm going to keep those two worlds very separate because I've already written a blog article today on one of my two Twitter that I'm allowing as blogs. It doesn't belong on my actual blogs. And so I'm, I'm practicing. But the biggest thing that I want us to hear is Kara's going to leave the structure that she, as she was freaking out on the inside with a panic attack. You know, how... How many of you are admitting how many panic attacks you're actually sitting on in any given day? Because um, I just revealed to you probably 10. <laughs> probably 10. <laughs> in one day that I just am learning not to. Yeah, no, I'm going to not do that. Um, it's called coming against fears and phobias from the Christian church in my case. Where are your fears and phobias coming from? Because we all have them. You can't tell everybody that. Notice this is a YouTube. I won't talk about this. It doesn't help anybody. Okay. So as far as face, face to face, that's not nurturing each other face to face to talk about this kind of stuff. This stuff's too heavy. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to link the article where I said, okay, I'll do four against my own maturation evolution journey. I said that, but then I learn about myself. You already know where to end things so that your intellect doesn't just get blown completely to pieces. Trust ourselves and be a little stubborn, my good people, when it comes to people sitting down in the difficulty and saying stubbornly the wrong way, I'm not going any farther. I'm not going any farther. Yeah, you are, and I'm going to carry you, so help me God, S. So help me God, S. And it'll be the, one of the most painful things that you're going to go through. Baby boomers, you've got more habits to come out of than the rest of us. And I am sorry how hard this journey is for you. I'm very sorry. Today is the half moon. I probably better look at my blessings and bless us all with a little bit of artwork in that as I produce this testimony and work on a huge rendering of part of Sonnets from the Portuguese all the way through verse 14. It's going to take me months, probably. It will stay in draft. And that just feels good to be able to say that and to be free, to spend time on something to retrain myself of my own free will. And I hope and invoke for you today, I will go light a candle. I hope and invoke for you today, my love life, the same journey and that you know you're taking it. Let me give you a practical tip. Many of us are very light sensitive and you don't even know it. I chose today to be an inside day. I am gonna have to go check on my plants outside, let my cats out with me. They like to walk around and Baymax likes to stalk the Berbers as he sits in the peppermint. <laughs> and I need to check on watering some things. And so I'm going to go do that in a minute as this video is uploading. And um, I want you to see the choices I'm making. That's all. Because you're already with me, so take a deep breath. But if you don't understand the choices in your private life, you're gonna do what I did for years and suffer with the guilt trips that we've been taught to have about because of the basic teaching of religious majorities, and that is that our core is wicked. 
That's bullshit. I've been talking against it for years, coming against it in my own history is a completely different, glorious, yet difficult process for all of us, and I'm sorry for your pain, but I am not sorry for the freedom that we are getting. You know, the Christians are still, the rhetoric is just pouring out, you know, being renewed in Christ. No, you're being renewed in your own self. He needs to take care of himself in tribe Judah alive. All of you are in tribes. I can point to Revelation reasonably and tell you that. We're elect or remnant in tribes. It's tricky because it doesn't follow blood DNA as in physical science. Okay. But you will know your people. And then you will not know them. There's a lot of good sayings out there about how you have to let friends go. I'm terrible at it. I'm terrible at letting friends go. I'm going to get better. So help me God. S. So help me God. S. Okay. Choose. Or it will be chosen for you. This is Tara. Choose to keep dropping the habits that were forced on you. I don't know what you're going to do in your private I can only share with you humbly what I'm doing in mine. And that includes blogs where I don't hit delete on something that I said. Was it a stupid something? No, it's beautiful that I can come admit, okay, well, I actually need to trust myself more with all of my poetry. I've already had 10, I have different, about 10 different venues of panic attack today that I must deal with. And I'm sorry if you must deal with that. Too. Um, I, I, I have sadness in my life because of what you're dealing with too. Okay. Um, I believe in emotion. It is what we need. And I am tired of the emotionless society that all of these wars, social media and otherwise, is placing on us. I took a nap yesterday, awoke, saw something on Twitter about Ukraine and what they're facing this spring and summer as the roads clear and I just broke into tears lit a, ca a candle and t tweeted about it because I'm going to tell you this if you're not qu crying in your private life you need to go to a therapist let me repeat if you're not crying spontaneously in your qu quiet life just wiping your tears and moving on I do it at coffee shops people see me do it all the time I told people you're going to see me cry Stop being afraid of your tears. Stop thinking that it's not manly or womanly or strong enough if you show people your tears. It is the exact opposite in this paradigm. We are learning to discipline our emotions, but have all of them in this paradigm. This is Kara Coffey of the Ministry.